Minnesota Vikings defeat the Chicago Bears 29 to 22. They are number one in the NFC North. Uh, they have a two-game cushion because they had the tiebreaker with the Packers, who lost in London to the New York Giants. So the Minnesota Vikings travel to Miami this uh, this next week. But this Sunday, the offense looked like we've been wanting to look like. Kirk Cousins started off with 17 for 17. Justin Jefferson, 10 targets, 10 catches in the first half. Everything was clicking on cylinders. Dalvin Cook was playing fantastic. Um, everything was great. And then the second half came. The defense couldn't stop anybody. They made Justin Fields look like an adequate NFL quarterback. Nobody knows if he's good or not because the Bears suck. But apparently against Ed Donatello's defense, he can look like a decent fucking quarterback. But, hey, whatever. Let's talk about this team. Kevin O'Connell, definitely, with Brian Dayball from the New York Giants, those guys are 1-2 for coach of the year, if you ask me. Nobody in their fucking right mind seeing the Giants being 4-1. and one. He's doing a fantastic coaching job. Kevin O'Connell's doing what he's always done uh, with this. Uh, during the preseason, he was talking about how the offense is going to take time. You know what I'm saying? He, he kept saying he's never backed off of that. The offense is going to take time. The guys are going to get... Um, Used to, to doing certain things. A lot of these guys have been in the same system for a while. But once it clicks, it's going to look something like this. He's never deviated from that. And Sunday, you got a peek in the first half of what uh, what was to come. And um, the, only, the only gripe I have about the Vikings offense, honestly, is the fact that the, 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 uh, the consistency coming out of halftime. Yeah, you, know, you like to get a halftime drive going, and uh, you know you're you're up by you know if you if you're up by ten, you like to get that halftime uh, kickoff, come down, score again, and then put the pressure on defense. This time they didn't have the ball after halftime. The Bears, I believe, uh, scored uh, right after halftime, and then got it t got it tight. The Vikings came down three and out, and the Vikings only had. One possession, I believe, in the third quarter because the defense was so fucking trash. And that's where I want to go right now. I don't know if it's scheme. I don't know if it's players. But all I can tell you is that from what I see, this does not look like the same flying around, balls to the wall defense that I've seen in week one against Aaron Rodgers. They just don't look the same at fucking all. Daniil Hunter dropping in coverage might be stupid like like i know it's stupid i'm trying to be nice it's it's stupid um harrison smith is one of the best in box safeties in the nfl for some weird ass reason you got him playing deep safety on every fucking play um there's not many blitzes you are relying on the top the three and the three linemen three down linemen to, to create pressure they're not getting much uh you playing that soft zone shell coverage Everybody is just torching us in the middle of the fucking field. There's no adjustment at all. I am sick of it after five games. I don't know if this dude is just old. It doesn't see shit the right way. But everybody is complaining about this. The exact same fucking thing. Any, even people who do the analytics shit is like, yo, this is... There's nothing different every single week. It's the same thing. And... You know, they haven't given up any touchdowns in the fourth quarter, which is weird. But they will give up yards, boy. Oh, oh my Lord Jesus. Cam Dantzler stripping the ball from Amir Smith-Marset, the former Vikings receiver who uh, got cut. I think it was uh, the final cut day, if, 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 if I'm correct. Um, went to Chicago. Um, he had two boneheaded plays in this game. He had a push in the back on Dancer, where Dancer really just threw his hands up in the air, <laughs> negated a 52-yard touchdown by Justin Fields. And then at the end of the game, he caught the pass, juked, uh, well, stiff arm Dancer, rather. And then Dancer came from behind, snatched the ball from him, and then that was the end of the game. Cam Dancer, ironically, is the 15th best cornerback ranked by PFF this season. So that's fantastic. Um... Let's talk about this offensive line that Minnesota Vikings has. Christian Darasaw is going to be 
one of the best left tackles in the NFL. And he might be top three now. Like, this dude, the way he played against Robert Quinn this past Sunday, one of the best pass rushers in the league, a veteran, he held his own left guard. Ezra Cleveland played pretty well. Garrett Bradbury looked like he had some fucking ability to play center. And I, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, the offensive line is looking pretty good. The defense, man, you got to get together. There's no way. The, the, the team gave you, the offense gave you 21-3 cushion, and you just gave it away. Like, I, I, I mean, I mean seriously, are you guys trying to, uh, I, I, I'm trying to be patient, but after five games, I, I'm so, like, legit done with this dude. Like, there's nothing, there, there's really nothing aggressive about this defense at all. Like, nothing. The Neil Hunter should have at least five sacks by now. He has two. Like, come on now. Like, I, like, I, I don't know, man. We're four and one, first in the division. I guess that's great enough, man. But the defense is not giving me encouraging signs. And yeah, man. I see y'all next time. Four and one, though. Peace.